In tonight's Positively Michigan, a golfer from Kalamazoo is headed to a national tournament this weekend. It is a competition for people you might not expect to find on a golf course. News Channel 3's Mike Chesney tells us who's competing. It's a beautiful morning for Jeff Bull to play around at Kalamazoo's Eastern Hills Golf Club. Good shot, good shot. He can hear the birds chirping. He can feel the sun's rays. Just being outdoors, being active. But he can't see any of it. Jeff is blind. Well, I've been an athlete all my life. Ooh, ooh, ah. I was 65, 66. Uh, my wife was a golfer and she said, why don't you come out and try golf? She showed me the basics. The native Englishman does need some assistance on the links. Good haul. Yeah. And that's where his friends and coaches, Pete Fenner and Walt Calhoun, come in. Jeff left a note on the cork board here at Eastern Hills. Blind golfer needs guide. We'll pay for your golf. We've been playing together ever since. Getting used to being around a blind person, you're a little nervous about it at first, but now it's just second nature to me. Bull and Calhoun are working as a team to get the ball from tee to cup. I will tee the ball up. I'll give him the layout. 82 to a blue pin. He selects the clubs. Walt will put the club next to the ball. And give him the direction of the pin. Yep. And the rest is up to me. Swing and away we go. Still pushing, but it's straight. Now, when we get to the green, it's slightly different. I will walk from the pin to the ball to get the distance and the slope of the green. Well, you'd be surprised how much you can tell with your feet. And I've tried to teach some of my sighted friends to do that more often. In fact, I want to talk to Tiger about that. This weekend, these golf guys will swing into Long Island, New York for their third United States Blind Golf Association National Championship. If I can play my best game, I might be in the top four or five, which will be a, which will be a first. And at my age, that's all I can hope for. No matter where Bull finishes, the course comrades say it won't take away from the fun they have out here. Jeff is a heck of a guy. I just really enjoy him. We've become good friends. Pete and Walt put aside three or four hours every week. There's... <laughs> There's no, no words that can say what that means to me. I get as much kick out of seeing Jeff hit a great shot or hit a great putt as he does. Having the opportunity to be out with the breeze, the sun, and being surrounded by other golfers. Life is normal. Life is normal. For Positively Michigan, I'm Mike Chesney. That's what it's all about. News Channel 3. And he says putting on the championship tournament isn't cheap for the USBGA. For a link to more information about donating or getting involved with the organization, head to our website, WWMT.com. And if you have a story you think we can highlight West Michigan in a positive way, send an email to PositivelyMichigan at WWMT.com.